All right, um, guys, I have to ask, first question out of the gate. You guys start out as actors, but you both direct. In the movie, you have to direct. Mm -hmm. Why does everybody want to be a director? Mm -hmm. I, I, I personally find it very fulfilling to be involved in all aspects of a production and to have influence over it. You know, a lot of times as an actor, you're just there to do one job. You're, in, in many ways, just a vessel for the character, as opposed to really being able to communicate across all of the different storytelling devices, which is film and As shows. actors, we come on so late in the process. It's almost like the last thing that happens. Right. Okay. You know, and as a director, you you plant the original seed. Okay, so know? it's about so, the control uh, yeah, from start or to just, finish. It's just about being part of a bigger piece of the puzzle. And casting is obviously, you know, 90% of your battle, but... You know, just to be able to be in there on the early stages of, of that stuff is really what it comes down to. It's right. a lot more work. It, it, it's, sure. we're, we're very Machiavellian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are you the anal directors that are in there behind the editor's back going, no, not that? You well, you have, yeah. have to be. You do, or else it turns yeah, into their exactly. vision. You're exactly. screwed. Okay. You gotta get on top of the editors, that's for sure. But you also have to know when to let people who are talented at what they do take the reins. Correct. You know, right. That's, that's the, the delicate art of it, being able to know when to let you check your ego at the door and let other people do a better job than yeah, you, you can. When you hire a director of photography and you tell them, just make it look awesome. Right. <laughs> that's, right. It's, right. I don't know anything about lighting, just make, make it, it look, look awesome. awesome. Um, you know, I, Hollywood can be very intimidating to a lot of people, especially an actor coming into an actress. And then last night I was trying to think, what, what can I ask them? And I realized, you know, friends give you balls. Like, you know, like, excuse me, and I can say that on my show, but, um, you know, like, it, they give you the courage to, if you were just a single person trying to maneuver through Hollywood, you might not say as much as you would. Having your friends with you, like your entourage, really no. can help you maneuver Hollywood better. Do you agree? No, I think that's exactly right. I mean, certainly with these guys, the entourage, give, give each other a lot of courage and confidence and support, uh, but... And makes, different points of view as well. Yeah. Everybody's got a different point of view that it weighs in and, you know, adds to the ultimate decision. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the extended family, the extended entourage, which include the fans, we, the entourage gives them permission to step up and take risks and do things that they didn't think they could or would be allowed to. Right. Now, I don't never really see you roll with an entourage, but I see you a lot in your Instagram. You always seem to have a crew with you. Yeah. I, I wasn't mean, invited. <laughs> No, I mean, look, I, How dare you? Know, you? <laughs> I, I have uh, you know, a group of friends. I moved out here many years ago, and just the same group of guys that have been running around together for a long time. Keeping so. you humble, just like yeah, the movie. Yeah, exactly. And Adrian, since you are such an activist, I'm a volunteer at heart. Is it hard sometimes being in this world of excess Hollywood, and here you are over here you know, with this message of, of saving things and being an environmentalist? Do you ever just want to scream and go, if you didn't buy another car that you're never going to drive, you could help me over here? Do you ever f get frustrated? No, I, I think it's important not to be too pure. You know, we live in duality, so we have to live and, and, and live well and enjoy our lives, and a good amount of healthy escapism is, is good. I mean, I, I, I really appreciate Entourage because it allows people to have a relief, you know, and have, you know, a moment of just where they don't have to think about the troubles of the world, but they can really just get excited about what's possible. And I also think Adrian's found over the last few years, found a balance in what he's talking about. I think he was harder on himself uh -huh. and that part of what you're talking about a few years ago. And I think over the last few years, and particularly over the last year or so, or like during the movie, <laughs> he's like come to terms with the fact that as one person you can only do your best and you can only do so much. Am I wrong to say that? I've taken Kevin's advice and I've lightened up. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that in my head. That's what that meant. <laughs> Thank you very much.